Hi there, Hand Construction Gamer. In today's episode of the main line, we're going to be extending our first Midland main line up towards, I think it's Northwich, is it, or Norwich? One of the two. Uh, I'd like to get services going in as far as Liverpool Lime Street. So we've not Liverpool Lime Street, but Liverpool Station, uh, Liverpool City Centre. Uh, where are we? Where are we going from here? We've got Northwich, and then we've got all the way up here, we've got Workshop, which is quite a distance, but perhaps we might reach that in this episode. So we're going to going to certainly give it a go anyway because our first passenger route that we got up and running with between Smethic and actually that is uh, North Allerton that needs to be renamed so which one is that that one that needs to be renamed Liverpool Liverpool to North Allerton via Smethic via that big uh, junction we built a couple of a couple of episodes ago uh, and it's actually making a profit which is nice I'm not use uh, yeah not mega profits 800 thousand it's not a massive profit the steel train is still struggling since i put two steel trains on there uh the lumber i think is a little bit profitable but it's not making as much profit as i would like to i think i need to get a second source of iron ore going into the steel works before we can actually ramp up production of steel and actually start shipping the volume that we need in order to make those two steel trains pay for themselves so i don't know don't know what i want to do about the steel trains for now obviously we're shipping quite a lot of lumber so we're shipping in enough lumber to justify to having two trains but i think we'll worry about that later but now we just want to get on and actually uh put this passenger route in get another passenger route in on this um main line that we're trying to build right so let's pause the game and let's actually construct something rather than talking so let's get rid of all of this road that road get rid of all of this as well is there a train no, that's just a bit of bit of level crossing get rid of all of this okie dokie so i think what i want to do is get rid of that and have a think about this i think we might do something right let's unpause the game let that train get fully out of the way like so let's pause the game let's get rid of all of this track and i'll show you why in a minute so this is this is the up down fast we're gonna have trains hmm. no no we'll stick we'll stick with it as it is <laughs> We'll stick with it as is right so okie dokie let's get a let's get a tra station in here is that level i think possibly might be all right and then we want a building let's go with something a bit now that's definitely road track let's go with let's just go with the king's cross new i didn't want to put that road in 240 meters long let's just go with one track for now and then i just want to uh just want to level that terrain off quite expensive but we don't really need to have to worry about the money because we've got tons of it we've got like 1.6 billion in the bank almost right so where where's the track there it is we want uh high speed we'll go with catenary in the station just to save any messing around later on when it comes to electrification of the main line uh, something a bit like that and then let's configure this station so we'll go with some tracks please those ones high speed with catenary and then we'll have four Actually, you know what? I think I might do something a little bit different for this. Let's get rid of these platforms. We'll just have the one. Get rid of those tracks. And then let's have an island platform. Let's do something a little bit different. We'll, we'll stick with the King's Cross modules. But we'll just have a nice big central platform. We'll have two platform faces. Two platforms to form the platform faces. But they're definitely the uh, the wrong segments. They're the old ones. We want a new, newish. Oh, should we go with... Let's stick with old as, as we've already done it something a bit like that back to the tracks you'll see why i'm doing this in a minute um and then two more tracks like so i guess we could could have platforms along here as well why not shall we yeah let's go for it the main platforms that we'll actually be using will be the central island platforms like so and then let's sort of see what sort of modules we've got can i put one of them on and oh i do like that actually i've never noticed that before if you put normally if you kind of mix and match segments from different ones if you put that down it will convert it to a new platform but i can actually put down a modern overbridge an older station we've got a little bit of conversion the only thing with that is if i go with the roof we'll have to go with the modern roof but that's not it's not the end of the world and then we'll go with it's an old old platforms that have been upgraded let's say something a bit like that mix and match old and new why not if you can do it why not right the next thing is we'll have a little bit of a bit of a concourse here we're gonna have some ticket machines either side and then we'll just have ticket barriers which we can't have because we need we've got a road in the way that's why i didn't want to build the road right we'll just have some barriered steps like so 
I'm happy with that. And then it obviously needs a bit of a roof as well over the actual concourse itself. Yeah, I'll stick with that. Happy enough. Demolish that, level off this terrain. And then we just want a road street going straight past the station. Uh, just, get, just getting all of these roads hooked up something a bit like that anyway try and encourage encourage a little bit of development down here i think just give them plenty of roads so they can think about maybe actually building towards the station obviously we're gonna to have to put some sort of uh, shuttle bus in but maybe we can encourage the game to try and build down here the ai good right so you're all set up let's get this track all upgraded this is definitely Definitely will need to be kind of four track through here of just because of the sheer amount of trains. Uh, we won't have catenary on the actual track yet. We don't need it yet. We're still still sticking with diesel for the time being until we've built a bit more of the main line. And then we're going to bring these two tracks round, maintaining at least 125 because it is a main line. But that looks looks to me like it's fast enough. And then can that just go into there? No, it can't. Right, you can go into that platform there, no problem. But what about you? 88, that's really slow right okie dokie so can i just just straight from there 114 yeah i haven't decided if this is going to be like every train is going to stop at every single station on the route or if there are going to be express non-stop trains just yet but uh it's always good to kind of plan ahead and have the infrastructure capable of, of achieving that so if there is a non-stop train we don't want it to be slowing down too much as it goes past the station and then we may as well carry this on for now over towards here. Something a bit like that. I'm gonna to need to do a little bit of a little bit of smoothing, a bit like that. And yeah, that all looks that all looks good. We'll just call that Nor Norwich, Northwich, Northwich. And then we do actually need a road to cross that. I don't think it doesn't look like it's a main connection, but we, actually it is connecting it to Derby, so it is probably beneficial that it we have a road in so let's put a road across here a bit like that uh what should we have it's not going to be oh it's going it's going across in a single arch actually um don't tend to build arch arches but let's put that in place let's go to upgrade and then see if we can uh right okie dokie so let's just put the catenary in for now and then we'll put this arch back in because that looked quite pretty actually so let's do it a little bit higher this time uh, that one still needs to be quite considerably higher. Just just clearing the catenary, so I think we will take that like so. That's, yeah, it's quite nice looking. Okie dokie, so we just need to get this connected up now to the actual main bit of road. So let's get Bankment down to there. I think I will own that just to stop the AI trying to downgrade it. And then I think I'll own that as well. And then we'll have this road kind of gonna have to snake its way down a little bit because it is quite high at that point and then obviously we just delete delete that not a main connection but handy to have and then a little bit of a little bit of smoothing around there like so it's quite a nice nice little bridge Katuri cleans it uh, cle uh, cleans it clears it let's just downgrade that for now and that as well for some reason that's got um that's all got catenary and obviously upgrade that bit of road good right so we're getting we're getting up close to uh, towards workshop actually aren't we well first of all what we need to think about is a junction here now we need to get rid of that bit of track and then we need I think what we'll have is just trying to uh trying to think it's got two ups and two downs haven't we so we're gonna have to have a switch across there on the flat and then another switch with a flat crossing that's really inefficient and then don't don't think i want to double slip but it would make that junction a lot more efficient i mean it's not really important with these i think i'll just keep that as is for now and then i'm going to swing this straight round and that was the wrong <laughs> the wrong track let's try that again that that track there swing it straight alongside the 50 and then can I just slew in a pair of switches like get that train out of the way slew in a pair of switches that's very very slow though you know maybe if I come all the way back here what's that gonna do 45 it's a little bit better yeah I, th I think I'll take that and then we'll chuck in a couple of uh, couple of signals one way yeah so we want one there one there and then we just want one there like so and then we'll probably move this block section a little bit further down a bit like that and then we've got to signalize this junction so we want to signal there there and there oh no wrong way <laughs> that's that's definitely going in the wrong direction let's try that again yeah i can't imagine any freight trains needing to come down here but if we do i'll think about that and when we come to it so we've got a up and up so far so good and then we've got a down 
is about here and then we need to get rid of that signal and that one i think i'll just move this signal over towards that one like so i think you might need to wait for a coal train to come in there that block section is definitely going to have to be moved i think so up up and then down down need to uh, replace that signal and then get rid of these signals here good yep that's all looking good and i think what i'll do is we need to reattach these tracks now we're going to continue with this for tracking all the way up towards i think all the way up towards the steel mill actually so we'll keep the game paused get rid of that that signal you know i should have probably kept that signal in place let's just get this track for track And then we're gonna to have to get rid of get rid of that switch onto the steel mill and that one there and then just continue a little bit more a little bit more for tracking and then what we're gonna to have to do is put a switch onto there so you can get onto the build <laughs> build anyway i don't i'm not even building anything right you want to onto there no no okie dokie run alongside actually yeah we will have a fifth bit of track a high speed switch that's a bit that's a bit too high speed for a freight train 75 good right and then we need a set of steps down this is yeah this is going to be quite a capacity constraint but it should be okay down to there like so and then we need to obviously get rid of those signals so back to the signals we've got a pair of ups so we've got an up up and then a pair of downs like so with quite a big quite a big section for trains because yeah we've got, got quite a few trains kind of going up in the, up in that direction as well not to worry uh let's continue with this let's get rid of these signals that one there pair of ups and a pair of downs and then where is is there a coal train anywhere nearby oh, that's the route still broken yeah the, oh it's it'll be because of this anyway it's because of the uh because of those never mind right let's let's get this track finished finished then and then we'll think about upgrading this track as well to a uh, high speed so this is going to be double track all the way up to workshop so i think after the steel mill so we've got that there how long building that should just after that switch so i think i want another continue the tracks off like so and then what i need to do is switch these round so that's going to be yeah then that's fine i'm just confusing myself yeah i think what i'll do actually is just have this as a drop this should work i think <laughs> i hope it should make sense in a minute right so we'll get that into there alongside like so and then we'll have a pair of downs and then we'll just have that going you know, maybe a little bit quicker really high speed switch 100 miles per hour switch so you are a down aren't you you are also a down and you're an up good is it no let's let's make this even more efficient right so you are you're a down no <laughs> what we're doing right so you are now an up. you're a down fast aren't you just really trying to make a overcomplicated junction really right so we'll have a high speed switch nope yeah we will we'll have a high speed switch this will make sense in a minute i promise right a high speed switch coming off the down fast yeah good right and then we'll have you just go straight to the lumber mill and then we'll have another switch on to yeah this is probably unreasonably complicated now <laughs> right let's get that on there get another switch obviously down onto the up fast and then we need a signal on there and a signal on there I think that makes sense that's not long enough for a um no that's not long enough so we're just gonna have to have quite a big block section so you are an up you are now a down but you are an up that should work let's just see what it's done so the lumber the lumber train is doing what it's told the coal train is broken for some reason but we are edging ever closer towards workshop now this is yeah this is really frustrating me with the the keyboard binding since it's changed now because i can't i can't press the uh, arrow keys as my direction keys anymore all right so coal train you should be you should be exactly the same as the lumber train really shouldn't you you're on the up down slows good you should be workshop lumber mill reading north allerton signal right you should be on that can i just trace the signal path obviously we do need some more block sections being installed right okie dokie good and you're coming down and then there's a little tiny bit of track missing of course there is right let's just get that fixed and hopefully that should all be working correctly which it is probably a lot more complicated than it ought to be but uh, never mind right so what i need to do now is just quickly find a coal train but i'll just want to return this this block section so 
I don't know why I've done up, down, up, down there. That needs that, that just confused me. So it wants to be up, up, and then down, down, doesn't it, obviously? And then the same along here. Oh, that's because it was just the existing signals. Yeah, it's not uh, not being me being daft for a change. Something a bit like that. Right. Okie dokie. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a switch in here temporarily. I'm going to chuck a signal on it temporarily. And stuff's broken again. What's broken now? It's probably this. It is definitely this over uh, iron ore. Ah, the iron ore train. Forgotten about that, hadn't I? Right, so we want a uh, block section probably just past those trees. So think about here need to think about having a block section up up right and then we need we'll get rid of that switch nope that switch not into there so we need from the down slow reasonably fast set of switches and then a reasonably fast turn out of there because we just because that's going to eat into capacity i want the train to be going as fast as it can over those switches as it heads towards the uh, the iron ore mine so we'll curve that in a bit like that and that track's going off this junction is probably gonna have to be rebuilt i guess at some point but that should have fixed the iron ore train which it has the only thing is from the iron ore mine you want to be going onto the down slow no yeah you know it's the up that i want to be uh, up like so and then we want a couple of signals on here so obviously we want a signal there and then another one there and then signal there signal there and then we just want to quickly upgrade a lot of this track around here and this good so the only thing now is the um the lumber train is broken isn't it right so let's get the lumber change the color of that for now pink just so i can see it so it's coming along here on the down slow which is all good and then gets to here i think we'll manage the line again we've got too many uh far too many junctions now too many signal waypoints that is can i add another one take one away a signal what was that there's eight so it still should come down to here yes it does and there's an issue there oh yeah there's no switch off the down slow onto the down what ball what is the down fast so we'll need a switch there yeah i've probably made that more much more complicated than it actually needs to be and then a signal there get rid of that signal i think right so that's all good it's just the uh it's the transition from up down to uh up to four track to two track basically and then this should be coming down here onto that switch onto that switch it shouldn't be an issue why is it hmm, how's it how's it decided that that i managed the line again so smithic lumber mill where's workshop lumber mill add all right yeah we've got yeah just want to make sure you stay and then the iron ore train north which that is the up so you want to be path on the uh i don't know the steel works isn't it something like that should work right okay okay so we've got all of that kind of done now let's see if we can just put a route in from liverpool so we want liverpool and northwich going to and then that's it isn't it and then back again yeah we'll just stick with that for now uh, obviously we haven't quite reached workshop today we'll go with a pinky color and then this is like so and then i think i'll just for now where's the uh where's the steel mill we'll chuck on a couple we'll just stick in with the um the 175 so now because i haven't actually subscribed to anything else two car 175 couple of them um let's just just come over to here and then we want it to be on pax rail liverpool no that one four times speed i'm gonna wait for this train where are you yeah this this keyboard binding issue is is going to get a little bit frustrating now just it, it's just weird but yeah i'm left-handed so i have to use the arrow keys on the keyboard for the forward and backwards and left and right movements which the developers don't seem to have thought about never mind right we'll wait for this train to get to uh to get just past north north which okie dokie so he's almost at liverpool now let's chuck that train on should all be good let's just keep the routes up for now yeah when i've got this menu up i can't press up and down anymore uh, but you can see now what i did with these town for with the station for north which is basically we've got the up down slows on the outside lane basically the trains it basically separates the passenger trains from the tra freight trains so I think capacity should be okay. Is that train long enough? That block section it is. That's all good. Just uh, I think the coal train is about the longest train that operates on this route. So that's all looking fine. Happy enough with that. That junction is a little bit of a capacity killer, but I think it should be okay. Yeah, happy enough with that. Everything's working where it should do. All the freight trains are on the up-down slows. 
and the passenger trains are on the up down fast like so and we've got some services going to Liverpool it would have been nice to get to uh, to Worksop but it was just a little bit challenging kind of working out the transition from four track main line to two track main line because I can't see us needing too much more capacity so there we are we've got some some more passenger trains working on this uh, on this line here where's the where's the Norwich train Northwich Northwich train that one lovely little class 175 so there we are leave it there for today say until next time bye bye